Is it to mask your shame? Ma my shame? Yes. No. It's to mask my tiny chin. Hello and welcome to the spookiest event in the Northwest. This year they've added yet another maze to their horrifying lineup. Below Deck takes their collection to seven mazes, including a haunted hayride. It's time for Spooky World. My name's Axel. I'm Sean. Let's get scary at night. Spooky World, Warrington, offers seven spine-chilling tales of horror and dread, sure to leave visitors petrified. From ghosts to ghouls, each story is expertly crafted to elicit fear and terror in those brave enough to enter. From a haunted hayride, to a venture into the menacing slaughterhouse. This event is sure to unnerve even the bravest of souls. And new for 2023, what kind of captain traps his crew to go down with him in Below Deck? With immersive environments and terrifying special effects, Spooky World Warrington is a must-visit destination for thrill-seekers and horror enthusiasts alike. Be prepared to scream and shiver with fear in this heart pounding attraction. Alright, so first maze of the night, we've headed towards Slaughterhouse because that's usually the busiest maze if you do leave at an hour but there is no queue whatsoever so it looks like we'll be in there on our own, Sean Well, we've come on a, on a weeknight and uh, it looks like it's paying dividends there's absolutely no one here yet and it's been open for half an hour How do you feel, Axel? Excited, the only ones in the queue I just heard him in there saying they're probably getting starting positions, so we're probably the first ones going through today. All the scares. <laughs> and if you look behind us, Haunted House is now right next to Slaughterhouse, which yeah, is has moved. So I think Below Deck is where Haunted House was last year. Yeah, and was. Haunted House is now like a new shed. It looks smaller, but I'll be excited to see what they've done for it, because that's how pretty good. Yeah, it's me though, it's a brand new uh, maze or they've put it oh, different things in different places because it moved the set so I'll be excited to see what happens in there. Right. But first of all, let's get straight into Slaughterhouse. The Tennyson family business, the Abattoir, the Abattoir. is not all it seems. This strange mutilated family of pigs will accept anything, anything. to be killed and eaten for their favourite sausages. This close family hide a multitude of secrets. It's your job to make it out alive. They will drain every ounce of your fear and dispose of you accordingly. Welcome to the Slaughterhouse. Oh my god. That was great. As a two. Oh my <laughs> god. Wow, I'm still out of breath. That was intense. There was no holding back. Literally, it was pinning me up against walls, shouting in my face. Some of the scenes in there, you literally feel like you're in a horror movie. Oh, it stunk. And it I stunk. There was, dead, there was how... dead meat in there, though. Yeah, I can't express you how much one room stunk of like rotten flesh. There was meat in there yeah, yeah, yeah. at the end. Oh my god, it was disgusting. It was disgusting. It was great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was disgusting and great. I can't get over how intense that was to be honest. Oh my god, my heart's still pounding. Loved right. it. Loved it. Can on we go to the on next to one. House? Yeah. yeah. If we can get my breath back. Jeez. <laughs> Go and say hello, Axel. I think again. 
from one to the next, it's time for Haunted House. For years and years, this historic cursed home has been left completely empty. Or has it? The stories of its past continue to haunt every inch of this building. It seems that whatever inhabits this building continues to cause trouble for whomever dare enter. Haunted house. Do you know what? They have moved it. I was completely right. And the sets are brand new in there. Yeah. And that, for me, was great. There's no words to describe it, to be honest. Um, I really did like it. Do you know, the sets in there are very simplistic, or very minimalistic, should I say. It's, you know, a few, it, it's quite a few rooms, but they've only got a few props in each one of them, yeah. um, detailing what that room is. There's quite a few levels you've got to go through fires fireplaces you've got to go through wardrobes and things like that yeah um but the whole uh ambience of it is very dreamlike and I, when i was going through i said to sean it reminds me like if david lynch did a, a maze <laughs> it really has that vibe to it, it feels like you're walking through a really surreal like dream um, a yeah, yeah and I, I absolutely love the feel in there and the vibe it great was, it was very creepy <laughs> And Slaughterhouse is amazing because of obviously the, the, the big sets and how it plays. Do you know what? Yeah, things, I think. But that takes the lead for me tonight. I think the theme that's been going through the houses so far, so we've been in two Slaughterhouse and uh, Haunted House. Sorry, there's someone chasing someone with a chainsaw. Very funny. Um, they've used a lot of darkness to really use, get the most out of their jump scares. So, like, we walked into a room and there was someone hid in complete darkness and it made us both jump out of our skins yeah. in Haunted House because we just didn't know they were there. But it's really and good because... And they were right next to us. Yeah, and the yeah. thing is, they use the distraction method so well that like there's something really big to be looking at and they'll come from the darkness that's right next to you. So, you know, the jump scares are done really intelligently. <laughs> yeah. um, especially in sets that's so minimalistic, you don't even know where the actors are in certain places because oh, yeah. of the hiding in the shadows. Amazing maze, really loved Haunted House. On to the next one. Next up, it's time for the Haunted Hayride. Oh, the actors on this ride may touch you, but they will not harm you. You are not permitted to do it. Did you touch it? 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 My shame? Yes. No. To mask my tiny chin. Then how do you mask all of that shame? <laughs> Denial. <laughs> Someone's been doing his CBT. <laughs> and shaving. <laughs> I don't know how wet we're going to actually get on this one this year round, but as we get on it, this is how much foam is on the hayride. Yeah, all over the benches. This is uh I'm just gonna bite the bullet. I've got a wet ass, I've got a wet ass. <laughs> this is gonna be fun Sean. Take a journey through the white white lands of spooky world. The freaks that were too scary for the attractions have had to live somewhere. As you explore the wider expanses of Spooky World, be sure to check who is sat beside you. And if you manage to drive back alive. Oh, what are you? Turn around. Oh my God. Is it bad on me? I don't know, I can't It's worse on your back. Look at that. The only way out is through the tunnel of terror. The haunted hayride should be renamed <laughs> the wet hayride. Yeah, the waterlog. <laughs> the waterlog. <laughs> I'm telling you, the thing is though, it is so much fun. We was on there for about 10, 15 minutes. It was so long. So many good interactions on there. So many actors that you don't really think it's going to be on there. I'm telling you though, you get absolutely drenched with all of that foam drenched and then you've got to go through the tunnel they spray you in the face with water 
I'm not joking, I got a hose in the face. Yeah. I was looking around, seeing where the scare is, and it's got booze. Yeah. Like a shotgun blast of water to the face. And I turned around and actually got the same thing. I'll but tell you what though, there's some great lighting packages on there. Yeah, um, and cool. pyrotechnics, always love a good big flamethrower. Some yeah. great pyrotechnics, and as you go around Jack's home, Pyro! There was Pyro this time again. I love it, it's two in one, you get the hayride, and yeah. then you get the Tunnel of Terror. And that Tunnel of Terror, you get explosives in there, pyrotechnics, things tickling you, bursts of uh, air, and then obviously that bit at the end where you just get squished up against the wall and you get all of the foam come off you. So those people that are going on there don't have a clue what's gonna happen to them until they see that hayride. Yeah, <laughs> you get soaking, I'll tell you for free. Hey, it's absolutely amazing all the hayride. The thing is, it's a really unique thing here at Spooky yeah, it's World. So cool. And it just adds to the whole event. I know there's another one at Tully's Shot Tower Fest, which we're doing later on in the month, so that is yet to come on the channel. But that's the only hayride we've ever done. And to be honest, if I was to do another hayride, I wouldn't say I want this or I want that. It's perfect the way it is, and it's really good. And another great attraction here at Spooky World. All right, on to the next one. Up next. It's the new for 2023 Below Deck. Yeah, again, there's no queue, so it's uh, just the two of us in this new maze. Rise her up from down below. What kind of captain traps his crew to go down with him? Captain Darkwaters and his crew still remain aboard the cursed slave. Discover a ship and journey through. But watch out for the flesh eating pirates out for revenge in Below Deck. Where did you go? <laughs> Where did you go? I got trapped. <laughs> Below Deck in the blue lights of the waters. How oh, did you like it? Very scary. Yeah, the thing is we're going through these mazes literally on our own tonight. And that one doesn't have any music, any sound effects, any soundtrack, anything. It's literally you, silence, and whatever is lurking around the corner. And it was the most surreal experience I've ever had in my life because of those facts. Uh, and there was some great scares in there. The thing is though, if you do come on a busier day, um, Spooky World usually do have quite good batching anyway, so you're normally going through with maximum like eight people or yeah, something yeah. like that. So, you know, it's not like it, it, you're going to go through with a massive group. We are just getting what feels like a VIP experience. <laughs> and you can <laughs> Because take, it's one-on-one, on one, us and the monsters. And you can just take your time with it. Like, you're not feeling like there's another group coming up behind you and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, true. Like, you could just walk it through at your own pace. And um, that makes it even scarier, to be honest, because it's like, I could be in here for like 20 minutes. Yeah. And they, they know they can just keep me here for like five minutes. <laughs> we, we got separated. Oh, lights have gone out. So the yeah. thing is, we got separated in that maze as yeah. well. Uh, so that just added to the effects. Well, that is a really good maze. It's quite big, to be honest. Um, you've got some great scenes in there, really good sets. Um, some amazing makeup in there. One of them had their eye coming out at me, and that, yeah, that freaked me the hell out. Um, but it was good, they really get in your face in these mazes, like, it's too close for comfort, but it's, uh, yeah, it's really effective, creepy scares. Yeah. They're not all jump scares, it's just a lot of creepiness. Yeah, it's brilliant. Right, on to the next one. Next up, it's the reimagined Field of Screams. Do you dare yeah. enter yeah. the Field of oh, Screams? screams and encounter its deformed inhabitants. The evil residents of the corn love to watch trespassers suffer and scream. The constant chase will have you begging to leave. The thing we once made to protect is now what everyone fears. Field of Screams, newly reimagined for 2023 in a we new were in location. That for 10 minutes. 
and it's not that big like you can no. see it it is not that big whatsoever but it's, just it's a literal maze it's yeah. a literal maze they're chasing you different directions they lead you the wrong way there's some great characters in there though they remember your name as you call back past them one of them um, called you Ar Arzel yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend Arzel I was like who? <laughs> but still no that was a great maze to be honest I do prefer it in the actual field um, as it just adds a bit more authenticity to it, being the field of screams. Yeah. That said though, I think it's a great change to the maze um, and it doesn't take away from what it was. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. I thought it was really fun. And there were some people in there, longer than us, It was that frustrated. They were lost, man. <laughs> lost. I'll just say on the field of screams as well, they cornered me, cornered me, wouldn't let me go, sometimes split us up. And yeah, that's what they, they like keep, and yeah, no, and that's what they keep doing. Our spooky world, splitting us up and cornering you, and really getting in your face like there's no room to breathe, even. Yeah. Um, it's it, they're intense, really intense. And obviously, there's not much set in there, but for the lack of set or lack of environment, they really make up for it with just that creepy invading, invading space, yeah, right. <laughs> invasion of space. Next up is the what was new for 2022, the Institute. It's returned here at Spooky World for 2023, so I can't wait to see the updates, the changes, and the, the madness of the Institute. Institute, an educational institution, and especially one devoted to technical fields. Deprivation, the lack or denial of something considered to be a necessity. Dr. Boyd's subjects will commence their sleep deprivation study on the 1st of October 2022. All subjects are to be contained with no communication to the normal world. Early research has shown that most people can tolerate a certain level of sleep loss. But as sleep deprivation continues, it becomes increasingly difficult to stay awake. It also impairs your cognitive function and perception of reality. How far can we push the human brain in the Institute? So unfortunately, the review we filmed for the Institute somehow got corrupted or the footage got corrupted. So just we're like the people in the maze, the just... corrupted. That's exactly right. So <laughs> just like the people in the maze, the footage became corrupted. I think what I, what we saw was too traumatic for us to relive live and in person and show to you on camera. So the world just took that footage away. That's so, true. But it was that traumatic. We still remember it like yesterday. Yeah. So what did you think about the Institute show? Um, I thought it was good. I think it was as good as it was last year. Actually, no, I think it was a little bit better the year before. Yeah, same. Because they had some more graphic stuff in there. Uh, that being said, though, I really enjoyed it. They changed the order of it, so you came in last year where the exit was, and you came out last year where the entrance was. Yeah. So they've swapped that round. I mean, it's just cages, isn't it? So you can see through it all. Yeah, it's, it's not, not like, like there's a lot of theming. You can yeah. see everything that's coming. Yeah. It's all just cages, and you know, flashing lights in there, and very minimalistic set. But I think the theme is a very unique theme that you don't really see uh, in any other scare attractions. You know, the Institute first opened in 2022 and the whole theme is that uh, there's an experiment going on and it's kind of based around sleep deprivation. That being said though, it does push the boundaries. You know, there's certain things in there that are very graphic as well. Because of obviously the sleep deprivation that they've had, everyone's kind of gone crazy in there. And again, it's one where they get right up in your face and uh, there was contortionists in there and everything, weren't there? Mm, yeah, there was. It was good. It was good. I think it it was less graphic than last year. That's the main thing that took away from yeah the, from it this year. But it was you know it was still scary. They got in your face. Uh, again, we had a very intimate experience because it was just the two of us. Yeah. So there was a lot of scope for them to you know target us and stuff like that. But yeah, no. I'm glad they've kept it on for 2023. I would like to see it evolved though next mm. year or, or in future years, developed and evolved because it's a great concept. It's good for what they've done. I would like to see it developed though in the next few years. Yeah, definitely. Maybe lasers or something. Next up is the final maze of the night. A classic here at Spooky World. It's Carnival. 
Giant mouths and haunting eyes, colored hair and big red nose, hiding behind the painted face, your heart rate starts to pick up a pace. What happens when the crowds depart? This is when the fun of games start. Roll up, roll up, the freaks are here. Catch them all before they disappear. Look over your shoulder, keep your cool. Don't, Don't let, let the, the clowns clown turn you into a fool. <laughs>
brand new experience. I yeah. also, I agree with, to, like all of them are really good. I, I, I struggle to pick a favorite. That's just got a very distinctive feature, which is the smell, which is just absolutely. Yeah, it sticks with you. Yeah, it's disgusting. It stays on the hairs of your nose, it really yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. One thing that I would like to see here at Spooky World is Romas. I don't know if it's because we've come on a, on a, no, a night it where it's not a lot, but when we've come in the past, there's normally only one or two, and it was one today. We got a very good interaction with them while we was in the queue. But in future years, I will, I would like to see more roamers just to give it that more of an atmosphere um, and to really add to the event. That's all it needs, mm. and you know, give you that bit in between the houses. It's not all about the houses at the end of the day. It's about the atmosphere as well and the night out, uh, and that's what I feel like Spooky World does lack. I have seen some videos from this year where they have got some Roman characters out, so good. But I would like to experience them for myself. There's some really unique scares and unique um, parts about Spooky World that you don't really get out of the mazes or get overlooked. So don't let Spooky World pass you by. Get down here and make sure you book it for the remainder of the 2023 season. My name's Axel. I'm Sean. And we'll see you in another video.